Hello everyone, it's Melinda and today we're going to be looking at some beautiful specimens of orthoclase and agrine or agrine. That word is pronounced so many different ways. Um, they are two very different minerals, but they often, uh, you know, can be found together. Um, so I thought, why not include them both in one video? <laughs> um, so first off, we're very fortunate here in Ontario to have some gorgeous specimens of orthoclase at our fingertips, uh, particularly, at least in my case, I'm familiar more so with the uh, light brown Tory Hill uh, specimens, and I'll start with just a small, irregular little piece here. <clears throat> and again, this is from Tory Hill, Ontario, and it's a location that we visit on my tours. Really interesting shapes going on in here. So orthoclase is a feldspar mineral. It is one of the most abundant rock forming minerals of the continental crust. Uh, orthoclase is most widely known as the pink feldspar found in many granites. The ones we have here today are not pink, they're really gorgeous uh, light brown. I love them. Beautiful. Oh man. Last year I collected this specimen during my tours and I love it so much. Oh, the structure of the crystals. Oh, just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Even though it's a feldspar mineral. That does not mean we can't love it and appreciate its beauty. So, <clears throat> orthoclase has several commercial uses. Uh, it's a raw material used in the production of glass, um, ceramic tile, porcelain, dinnerware, bathroom fixtures, and other ceramics. Uh, it is used as an abrasive in scarring powders and polishing compounds. It is also cut as a gemstone. Uh, an andularescent or andularescent gem material known as moonstone um, is an intergrowth of orthoclase and albite feldspar. Really, really neat. Oh, so cool. I love all the little crystals going on in here. So, so, so neat. So large crystals of orthoclase uh, are found in igneous rocks known as pegmatite. They are normally no more than a few inches in length, but the largest reported orthoclase crystal was over 30 feet in length and weighed about 100 tons. Uh, it was found in pegmatite in the Ural Mountains of Russia. Wicked. Very cool. And I absolutely love this specimen, but I can tell you I've seen some recent ones coming out of this location this year that are um, even translucent and really nicely shaped. It seems like we're finding nicer and nicer orthoclase crystals at that location. Very exciting prospect because I, I really love these brown crystals. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So for the last of my raw counted or self-collected specimens, um, I have this piece here that has the brown orthoclase. <clears throat> it's also got some little bits of green appetite, a gorgeous, very high sheen glossy um, titanite, cherry titanite here. It's a bit rough looking, but still such an exciting thing to find. But yeah, the orthoclase crystals in this one are so neat. The little cluster. Too cool. So because orthoclase is rich in potassium and an end member of the alkali feldspar series, many geologists call it K-spar, 
K feldspar or potassium feldspar. And often orthoclase and microclean are mistaken for each other in the field. Thankfully, when it comes to the uh, Tory Hill location where we go on my tours, where these specimens are from, um, only orthoclase is noted as having been found at that occurrence. Um, however, when it comes to the Malawi location for my next piece, um, both orthoclase and microclean are noted for the occurrence. Um, so I'll pull that one up to show you. So this one here is orthoclase crystals on a green or a green and it's from Malawi, Africa. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite specimens. I just love that beautiful collection of crystals leading up the, the a green or a green crystal. Beautiful. And again, they're that light brownish color. Um, so there are some telltale signs for this particular occurrence when it comes to orthoclase. So the orthoclase at this occurrence has been noted as being um, a slightly light brown hue, which we can see here. And their crystal formation is far more um, like perfect, perfect crystal formations as compared to the microclean uh, feldspar specimens of this location. Um, so this one was actually labeled microclean, but I'm quite convinced after having looked through the uh, Mindat or Mindat uh, entry for this location that they're actually orthoclase crystals. Um, besides the color and the beautiful, sh uh, you know, formation of these crystals, the, the actual shape is an indicator to me as well. Um, when you look up... Uh, orthoclase on Minda, you'll see the different structures, growth patterns that it can take. Um, and this is the way uh, orthoclase is known to terminate. And if you can see in these crystals, they do terminate in that way. So again, to me, that kind of points towards ortho orthoclase more so than microclean, but, um, or microcline, sorry, <laughs> I always mispronounce that. Um, but yeah, either way, they are little feldspar crystals on a green or e green, depending how you prefer to pronounce it. And that a green crystal is so shiny, beautiful, beautiful black. Show the back of it. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I just love it. It's so gorgeous. So... <clears throat> A green or E green is a member of the clinoperoxene group of inosilicate minerals. Uh, it is the sodium end member of the A green algite series. A green occurs as dark green to black, and I'd say this one's pretty darn close to black. Uh, monoclinic prismatic crystals. It has a glassy luster, which we can see here, and perfect cleavage. It is sometimes used as a gemstone, and we can see why it's so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. See if we can get closer. Oh, so, so pretty. I'm a sucker for a nice crystal. <laughs> oh, and these ones on top. It just tells a story. I love this specimen. I really love it. <clears throat> Pardon me. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, folks, there's my little collection of orthoclase uh, feldspar crystals and my a green or a green crystal from Malawi, Africa. Some of my faves. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks. See you next time.